Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Midas short video series. In this video, I'll be explaining how to consider settlement in construction stages. For demonstration purpose, I am considering a very simple model, which is a fixed B and I will be activating them in construction stages and I am considering settlement of supports in the construction stages. So firstly, we can say that it's a fixed B and in the first construction stage, I am activating all the structure groups and the boundary groups and the sulfate. In the next construction stage, I am providing a settlement of 100 mm downward to the right support in the third construction stage, I am considering SIDL load, for example, any UDF, and I am I want to simulate a settlement of uh, 100 mm downward for both the cases. So, first, uh, go to load, static loads. In static load, we are having a feature specifying displacement. In the specified displacement, we are having load case name, load group name for activating in different construction stages and the specified displacement. So first of all, we'll define the load case name, defining it as S1. And I'm considering it as a construction stage load. Click on add. Likewise, S2, since I have to give settlement twice. Click on add. It. Now select S1 since I will be providing the first 100 mm downward settlement to the right support. Now for the load group name, click on the three dot S1 S2 add. So first one is S1. Now select the support which we need settlement to be done in the said i am considering minus 100 mm click on apply so in the coming construction stage i am considering s2 that is settlement of two supports the support and the other support and we considering 200 mm each okay so or else i'll just take the right support so click on apply now let's activate them in the construction stages so in the first construction stages i have activated the structure group the boundary group and a sulfate load group in the next construction stage, I am saying because of the sulfate, that's settlement of S1. Okay. Apply. In the third construction stage, I have activated SIDL. That is just a beam load. Uh, I am also activating the S2. That is the next settlement. Click on. Okay. Now, going to the analysis construction stage analysis control so here I want to see the effects of settlement separately so what I'll be doing is and here I have an option I am considering them as erection load so that I can separate it from dead loads S1 okay add erection load to S2 Now click on OK and let's run the model. Now the model is ready. Let's view the results. First, let's view the deformation. For deformation, displacement con contour, and in the first const construction stage, you can check the dead load. And I'm interested in DZ deform legend and I would like to see the values so we can see that 
the maximum displacement is coming at the center since there is no settlement the supports are intact now in the next construction stage I have given an erection load 1 so you can see that the right support has settled by 100 mm so likewise in the third construction stage and in the second construction stage if you want to see the combined effect you can go to summation click on apply so this will be the combined effect of sulfate and the settlement now in the last construction stage i have considered a udl of 30 kN per meter and here i have cons i simulated an erection load of uh, a displacement of 300 mm it was 200 mm so the initial 100 mm and the next construction stage 200 mm adds up to be 300 mm if you want to see the results separately erection load 2 click on apply so this would be the effect because of the specified displacement of 300 mm and the left support it is actually 200 mm because we have given us displacement of 200 mm so when we go to the summation we can see that it has been 300 mm because of the previous effect of the displacement applied in cs2 now let's view the results for bending moment in the first construction stage because of the dead load that is a sulfate this will be the bending moment diagram I'm not giving the deformed shape. Sorry. Now let's check it for the erection. So here in the first construction stage, no erection uh, specified displacement has been provided. Now let's go to the second construction stage. So here we can see that because of the dead load that is a sulfate, we are having a bending on diagram like this because of the specified displacement of 10 uh, 100 mm at the right support we are having this behavior now if you want to see the effect of both summation of sulfate and the specified displacement this will be the effect now going to the third construction stage here we can see that because of the dead load that is the sulfate and wet concrete load we are having this behavior because of the action load 2 this will be the behavior you can see now to see the summation effect on summation so this is how we can simulate settlement in construction stages i hope this helps thank you